Hi, I'm Marif Chilla here with the Terry Sports Network at the Barclays Center for NEC Social Media Day. I'm here with women's basketball head coach John Thurston. Coach Thurston, how is Media Day shaping out for you? Uh, you know, it's an exciting time of the year because it, uh, it kind of signals the official start to everything. It builds the excitement in the air towards, uh, you know, the games that are just a couple of weeks down the road. And it gets your kids excited to uh, talk about, you know, who's picked where and gives you a little bit more incentive to practice a little bit harder because, you know, you're, you're kind of now hit with the reality. It's right there. It's, you know, we're, we're knocking on the door of the season. All right. And, you know, the last couple of years, the Terriers have had kind of a dry spell winning-wise, except last year when you decided to take hold of the ship. You know, you guys went 11 and 19 overall, 8 and 10 in the NEC. You know, let's just talk about that. Tell me about your thoughts on last season. Well, I mean, we were uh, we were somewhat pleased. Um, it's you know on the you know on the the outside it kind of looks you know we turned we turned it around, moved up the standings, won some more games, you know. But on the inside, we knew that we could be better. Um, we had 10 games that we lost by four points or less. Uh, half of those games we had double-digit leads. And that's partly the result of, you know, kind of adjusting to a new system of, of still a little bit of inexperience. So, you know, we really didn't dwell on the, the success, success of last year because we, we as a team and as a staff knew we could have been better. Um, but it gives you a starting point. Uh, it, give, it gave the girls some confidence. They knew that even though we lost some close games, we could be in close games. There weren't going to be blowouts. Um, this year we're taking a little bit different approach. Uh, we've, we've toughened up our schedule, especially early in the year, the first five or six games. Um, and we're trying to prepare our girls you know, for, for a deeper run in it so that we can uh, by the time we get to the NEC schedule, we'll have played against some really top teams, top, some of the top teams in the country. So um, last year was last year. Uh, everyone's a year older. It's, you know, we don't have to explain the why to a lot of the girls anymore. They already know the why of, you know, why we're doing things. Um, and we're able to move faster and progress faster in preseason workouts. And speaking of the older girls, you know, Freshman recruiting has really shown to be successful for you. You know, you had Sarah, you had Ailey, Jessica, Katie, and then last year Leah and Casey. What do you look forward to with the freshmen that are coming on the team this year? Well, really the only freshman who will play this year is uh, Olivia Levy, who was an outstanding player in the state of Connecticut last year, uh, all, state, all state player. Uh, she has the benefit of not having to come in and uh, – and carry us right away when, when, when Katie and, and, and Sarah and Ailey and Jessica and Jamie came in, they, well, they started right away. And that's kind of unfair to put five freshmen in and then did the same thing last year. Uh, Olivia, who is on the front end, has as much talent as anybody in our program, doesn't have to do that. She can break in a little bit easier, and that's really the way it should be. It's better for her and it's better for us. But right now, she's, she's really our only, she's the only freshman that we have this year. And as you were saying before, last season was last season. So what are your expectations for this season? What are your goals? Uh, you know, I, I, I want to see us uh, progress a little bit better in game situations. I, I, don't, I never look at it in terms of wins and losses. I, I don't look at it that way because a lot of that is based on schedule. Uh, it's not how good your team is, but who you're playing. Like, you know, we're, we're playing Miami and St. John's and Penn at Penn and Army, all teams that went to the, you know, went to postseason last year. So you're, you're looking in terms of progress. Uh, what I look for is uh, more maturity on the court, um, more mental preparation, uh, more mental toughness to, to, to finish the game off. Uh, if we had a lead, finish it. Uh, and that's a learned thing. You have to, you have to experience that. We, we, you can't teach that every day in practice. You have to experience it on the court. So I, I'm hoping that those are the things that, uh, you know, that, they, that take place. And if they do, then your record kind of takes care of itself. And lastly, you guys were ranked sixth in the coaches' poll. 
today. So how does that make you feel? Well, we were talking about it before, and, um, you know, we always kind of prepare to come home from these, and the kids will ask, where were we picked? And, you know, oh, we picked last again. And, I, you know, this is probably as high a preseason spot as they've had in quite a while at St. Francis. And uh, we were also laughing because it's probably the first time we were ever picked to finish ahead of where the men are finished to pick in theirs. So um, that's nice, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's just, it's it's nice in practice It's uh, to say it tomorrow. It gives you a little bit more confidence to know that, that other coaches respect you a little bit more. But in the end, it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's all out on the court when we start playing. All right, well, thank Thank you, Coach. On behalf of women's head coach John Thurston, I'm Maria Fraschilla for the Terry Sports Network. Thanks.